What? Nah, not still. Eh, I'm not feeling this either. Now, why are you following me in the bathroom? Oh wait, I'm holding you guys. Why are you following me in the gym? I'm not even a fitness channel. Nah, I'm just kidding. What's going on, guys? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. My mom told me don't say what's up, guys, anymore because she hears me watch YouTube all the time. Saw a couple of my videos and was like, why are you saying what? Why does everyone say what's up, guys, all the time? It's so annoying. So let's see if I can come up with another catchphrase. Comment down below if I can say another entrance hi. So, hi, guys. That was creepy. Just comment down below and help me figure it out because the outro will always be stay brown. But anyways, I'm going to do some banch. Today's a hypertrophy uh, push day. I'm going to get started because my pre-workout is hitting me. So let's go. up about to do five sets of 12 10 8 6 4 even though you guys probably already know I'm doing a 5x5 five five normally but I'm actually gonna record my video on what I'm lifting today so don't worry but what I'm gonna say is damn this lighting is too damn green too damn green for me and then look I got freaking green shorts camo stretchy pants and then where's the logo Now I got a green logo of Under Armour. Too much damn green in here. But let's, let's do the first set of 12 with my weak ass bench of 135. Didn't expect to get that one so easy. My weak ass bench has always been a problem with me. But might as well just get might as well just go with it and yeah, time for 145 for a set of 10. based off the title and also all the bench references of me being weak already in this video you may be wondering now just what did you do what did you do to your bench because I did say it a bunch of times in the past that I will come out with a video on it so to make a long story short because I did record this clip already and I kind of rambled along too much um, so when I first started lifting I had muscle imbalances like any other person would so you're gonna have always a dominant side and a weaker side of course, uh, like a, I guess like the uh, majority of the population, my right side was my stronger side, and it was also my bigger side a little bit when I first started. But those things will kind of go away slowly as you keep lifting and incorporating a lot of unilateral movements such as uh, dumbbell work and like single movements. Well, when I was 14 years old and I first started, I was like, why is my left side so small? And like I'd wear t-shirts and then my left sleeve would not be hugging the sleeve as much as my right. So I decided to do a lot more reps and sets with my left side. Hell yeah, did that work? But it made my right side lock up because I literally, I kid you not, I literally did everything with my left side. And I would do so many extra sets with my left side that I even like learned how to write with my right hand and my left hand. So now I'm kind of ambidextrous for certain things. And from there, it caused my right side to lock up. And from there, it just caused my bench to get lopsided. So I literally benched like this for five years straight. And it caused my bench to go backwards. And it went from being a 205 bench at 14 years old, 185 pound body weight to 135 could barely bench 135 pounds and remember it, it was also like this and 
I couldn't do anything. I went to so many doctors, uh, chiropractors, and I didn't even feel the tightness and like the lockup in my right side. But luckily, five years later, um, five, four or five years later, um, which is roughly this past year, I met Caitlin, and surprisingly, she is my neighbor, and she fixed me. So she's my therapist, and if you don't know who Caitlin is, watch my That Felt Good video. Uh, I'll have it in the description box. Uh, I have a, a cool, funny edit on the massage therapy she did for me, and she was able to fix me, and I went to so many other therapists, too. No one could help me, but my point is, if you have, lunar, if you have one body part that's a lot bigger than the other side, so like one arm is bigger than the other, don't do anything about it, just add extra unilateral movements, so dumbbells, uh, single arm work, where you're not using like, you're not doing both movements at the same time, like a bar. Um, because if you do a lot more sets on one side and not the other, you're gonna cause more issues in the long run. I did take it from me. So, I'll make another video about like all my issues, but the one biggest thing is don't be a yush and do extra work on one side and make your right side get blocked up. So, yeah, that's why my bench is so weak because it came down crashing with the lopsidedness. Now I'm paying for it now, but oh well. I can always imagine I'm benching 275 because I feel like I would have been benching 275 by now if I never destroyed my bench career by trying to make my left arm stronger. I'm waiting for people to make jokes. Uh, I'm waiting for people to make sexual jokes right now. So that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys learned that trying to make muscle imbalances fixed by hitting the other side uh, with more sets doesn't help. Really didn't help with me and I'm paying the price now. I'm very sad that I have a poverty bench and <laughs> every single person in my age group can bench more than me for how long I've been lifting. So. That's going to be the end of the video, and you guys know what to do. Please do that favor for me. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see. Until the next video. Voice crack. Stay brown. Strong.